Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay you guys, so I have another sort of abstract idea. So, I have one of these and I don't know if you guys have seen these before but they're like wooden, I don't know, panels that have like a wavy texture to them. I also have what claims to be the blackest paint, uh, let me see, the blackest black paint in the world. And then what goes perfectly with black paint? Solar color dust liquid crystal. So we're revisiting this stuff again. I am sure none of you are upset about that because the last time we used this, Yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. So I'm looking to make some really cool abstract rainbow art on one of these. Obviously, we're going to be using some resin to top coat it. There's going to be glitter and everything. So if you guys are interested in any of that, then continue watching. So this wooden like panel thing is from Counterculture DIY, but I have seen some other brands make them as well. So they're kind of like these wooden panels that have like a really wavy texture. So we're going to be using that and then we're going to be using what I said claims to be the blackest black paint in the world. So this is Black 3.0. Black 3.0 is the latest version of Stuart Semple's Super Matte Ultra Black Acrylic Paint. Black 3.0 is the blackest and mattest acrylic paint on the planet. Unlike other super black coatings, it can be safely applied with nothing more than a brush. Uh, so, I'm excited to use this. I've actually had it for a while and I sometimes I just order things that I think are really cool that um, I'm hoping to use in later videos. So, that is actually happening for this stuff finally. And then you guys, if you've watched my channel before, you guys will have seen this stuff before. This is from Solar Color Dust. It is their liquid crystal. So if you don't know what this is, this stuff creates the mood ring effect. So you can apply it with a brush or whatever. They have like different types, whether you can brush it on or like airbrush it on. But yeah, this stuff creates the mood ring effect based on the temperature in the room. I, again, have used this before. We made some like dot art with it. That piece is my favorite piece of art that I have in my apartment. It literally will tell me the temperature in the room. Like, I've gotten used to what colors are what temperatures. I feel like if people were to come over, they'd be like, wait, wasn't that like red a second ago? And I would be like, yeah, it was. And then later they're gonna be like, now it's blue. I'm gonna be like, yeah, it is. It changes color. <laughs> I made it. Anyway, if you can't tell, I am a huge fan of this stuff. So I'm excited to be using it again. Everything that I use in this video is going to be linked down in the description. So if you're looking for anything that I'm using in this video, it will be linked down in the description so you can find it down there. So what we're going to get started on doing is we're going to take our wooden panel. We're going to paint it black. I think I'm going to paint the entire thing with this black paint and then from there I'll kind of decide what I want to do with the liquid crystal but for now we're going to get started on painting this solid black. Okay so we're going to get started on painting this wavy wooden panel with this black paint so again this is like black 3.0 uh, you guys can find this in the description if you want to check it out um, so make sure you shake it before you squirt it out because I didn't and then it just like kind of peed on my wooden panel. So yeah, make sure uh, you shake up that paint before you start painting with it. So we are painting this entire panel black. I made sure to get around to all the waves and then I also painted all the sides and in hindsight I do wish I had painted the bottom as well just to kind of get a clean finished look but I mean you don't see the bottom anyway. So this is what it looks like completely dried. It was so matte. It was honestly like velvety looking. It's Honestly, it was really pretty. All right, you guys. So honestly, prepare yourselves because this project, I put so many different components into this. So this is glow-in-the-dark pigment. And then this is obviously Mod Podge. I'm sure you've seen that before. But we did end up using this like glow-in-the-dark pigment. I started by like painting some lines of the Mod Podge, you know, this like glue stuff. Um, on like kind of the peaks of the like ridges, you know, like the waviness. And so I painted these lines of glue and then I ended up, I mean, I tried like a bunch of different, you know, techniques, if you want to call them that, on how to like dust on this like glow in the dark pigment. So I first started with this, which didn't work out. I was like pressing the pigment on and then I tried this 
which was like kind of like sort of hitting the brush onto the wood so that the pigment would like fall off and dust the glue line that didn't really work out. So I, I basically just took like this little makeup brush and I dusted away the excess. And then I also tried this, which was just me taking the bag of pigment and like dumping it onto the glue line. No, I, I mean, it, it was going to waste so much. So I took the bag and I kind of like dusted the excess back into the bag, but I still lost so much. And it also like created this huge mess on the piece. So this is what I ended up doing in the end, which was I painted a line of glue. Uh, until I, I liked the shape of it and then I would kind of like dust the pigment onto the glue and then I would leave it. So I'd kind of like leave it to dry and then go on to the next line of glue, which is what I'm doing here. So I paint the line of glue and then I dust it with the pigment and then I kind of leave it and let it dry. And then once it's dry, uh, I go back in with my little like makeup brush and I just kind of like dust it away the excess. And then once I had all the lines that I wanted, I did go in with the black paint again and just kind of clean up the edges to make it look clean again. Ah. Yeah, this is the liquid crystal. So this is the color changing like rainbow paint that we're gonna be using. So I did end up painting this onto like the wavy areas where I basically painted the glow in the dark pigment so that it would sort of, they would sort of like blend together and the glow in the dark lines wouldn't look so like misplaced or kind of like random. So I did end up painting this like rainbow paint right against those lines so that they would kind of like look good together. So with painting this like color changing paint on, I was very generous with it because I don't know like if you were to paint kind of like a thin coating of it, how you know bright the colors would be. So I kind of usually just go in with a lot to make sure that it shows up really well. And this is what the color changing paint looks like once it is all like painted on. It has not dried yet, but this is the pattern that I ended up going with. So now we're on to the next day and this is actually what it looks like dried. So it is already like changing color. It was like this beautiful blue green when I came in that morning. It was so, so pretty. So here's where some mistakes were definitely made. So I took the Mod Podge and then this is faux gold foil. So it's not like real or anything, but it is kind of like a gold foil. And then, so I, I tried painting the Mod Podge on in lines, kind of just like the same way that I did with the glow in the dark pigment. So I tried painting it on and then pressing the gold foil onto the glue and it just did not work. This glue like did not hold on to the gold foil at all. Like late, so I left it there to kind of dry onto the glue and then I came back later and I tried to like dust away or like peel away the excess gold foil and the entire sheet of gold foil just came off and peeled straight off of the glue. So I ended up going in with a different glue and I believe it was a Gorilla Glue. So that ended up working, but it did make a mess. I explain it at the end of this video, but check this out. Oh my God, are we freaking out? I freak out at this stuff every time. It's amazing. So I just used my heat gun to like warm it up and show you guys what it looks like when it changes color. So I took this clear packing tape and I ended up trying to like make a wall around this piece, like a wall going up. So I didn't want to just top coat it. I wanted to sort of fill it so that it wasn't that wavy texture anymore and I could like fill it with resin. So you see me here like building this wall. I also went in with this duct tape to kind of give it more structure so that it wouldn't just like fall over when I poured resin into it. It ended up working, but I do suspect that I could probably find something on Amazon that would work a little bit better. 
Um, but yeah, this is what I ended up doing. It worked. So now that the tape walls are built, I'm going to go in with this resin. So to fill it, I did end up using, I believe it's Entropy resins. And so I used their casting resin to basically fill this. And this was just like clear resin. I didn't mix any like glitter or anything into it yet. It's just clear resin. And then I went in with my heat gun to pop the bubbles. And so we are on to the next day. It is completely cured. So now I'm going to disassemble our tape wall and kind of see how it came out. So magically it did end up working. There was a tiny bit of leakage on the back, uh, but for the most part it did work. So now I'm going in with some sandpaper and I'm just gonna like sand down these edges because they were very sharp uh, and kind of jagged. So I did sand that down and then I kind of tried to round the edges as well. So now that we have sanded the edges, I'm gonna go in with some frog tape. This is my much preferred tape. If you're gonna be doing like top coats, this green frog tape is so good. Uh, so I'm just taping off the edges like I normally would with a top coat. So now we're going to go in with the top coat and I'm going to mix in these two glitters. So the green one is from Solar Color Dust and then the other one which is like a silvery holographic is from Counterculture DIY. Uh, so I sprinkled kind of a lot um, of both glitters into this top coat. I wanted it to be really, really sparkly and sort of fill in these like bigger black lines. So this is what the mixture is looking like and the top coating resin that I am using here is from Counterculture DIY and it is their Thin Viscosity Artist Resin. So now I'm just pouring the top coat onto the piece and I'm also going to take my silicone mixing stick and kind of just spread it around. I later kind of just used my gloved fingers uh, to sort of work the resin into where, you know, the areas where I sanded it to make sure that it you know, filled in those like scratches and stuff, and it totally did. So I used my fingers to kind of like work it into the areas where I sanded it and made like the most scratches. And since there's no silicone mold involved here, I did go in with my torch to pop all the bubbles in the top coat. All right, you guys, here we are. I was not sure <laughs> if we were actually gonna get to this point where I would be able to outro this video because there were so many ups and downs <laughs> with this freaking piece. Let's just take the tape off and check it out and then we'll talk about all the reasons why I thought you might not be seeing this video, but you are. So we're gonna take the tape off, which is so satisfying. And it's off. All right, you guys, so here is what it looks like. It came out really pretty, I feel like. So like I said, I was not sure that you guys would even be seeing this video for multiple different reasons. <laughs> so when I, I feel like so much went into this. The black paint at the beginning was totally cool. It actually was like the maddest black paint that I have ever seen. So yeah, the black paint worked out pretty well. And then I think the next thing I did was I painted some like, I painted glue first and then glow in the, like I dusted glow in the dark pigment on top of that. So some of like the edges of these lines will glow in the dark. So that worked out pretty cool. And then, <laughs> Like, I put so much random stuff into this. So then I painted the color changing paint onto these like bigger, you know, all these like green lines here. And then I was like, oh, I need something else. 
<laughs> you know, I needed like something else to this piece, even though it already had like a million things going on. Uh, for some reason, it needed more. So I then put <laughs> this like gold leafing on. So the issue with the gold was that <laughs> I first used the Mod Podge to try to like paint that on and then press the gold leafing on top of that. It did not work like at all maybe like a tiny tiny bit but once I like tried to dust away the excess gold leaf the whole all of it would just peel off and then there'd be like this weird clear line of glue so then the only other glue I could think of to use was like this gorilla glue that I had in my drawer and it worked it held on to like the gold leafing so I don't know if you'll be able to see but right there it's a little bit blobby with like the color changing paint so what happened was when I pressed the gold leafing onto like the Gorilla Glue spots, the Gorilla Glue just like got real blobby and it made the gold leafing look just disgusting. Just absolutely disgusting. So then I had to take an entire day of like repainting the black edges and then repainting the color changing paint edges to make everything look kind of like flowy and wavy again. So here are some close-up shots of our, I don't even know what to call this, our wavy, color-changing, holographic, gold foil piece. So this is our finished piece. I absolutely love it. I just did not think that we would be looking at something at the end of this video. I didn't think you'd be seeing anything. Like it is so pretty. It's, it's like weird. It's a weird piece for sure. And I love it. I'm absolutely obsessed and I'm so excited to have another piece that has this like color changing paint on it. So the other piece that I do have that, you know, I made in a previous video, but that piece has this color changing paint also, but it only has like a thin layer, like a thin top coat of resin over that color changing paint. So it is very easy uh, to get that piece to change color. So I'm thinking with this, since there's kind of a thicker layer of resin and then a top coat, I think that it is, like obviously it does still change color. I was a little worried about that, that it wouldn't change color at all, but it still does change color because you guys can see that it is like a green blue right now. Some angles it's purple, it's amazing. But I think for this piece, it's gonna take like a lot longer for the colors to change. And I think it's also like, it actually like is proving what I'm about to say right now. Um, it is going to hold on to that color for a lot longer because the piece is staying warm So you guys have to let me know down in the comments what you think of this piece. Thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope that you enjoyed it Make sure you give this video a like subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. It is at artsy mad woman I love you guys to absolute death And I will see you in the next video Goodbye <laughs>
Oh, that is looking nice. <laughs> Can you go away? Jeffrey. Jeffrey Bezos. So you guys are good definitely. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know.